Hey guys, Jeanette Barber, Daily Woody, Central Park, New York City. Um, more and more people are wearing masks, uh, which is uh, which is good. Although now a lot of them have the disposable ones. I have no idea where they're getting them, but I have mine that I wore in uh, in India. This uh, and it does have a N95 uh, mask, which I didn't take from any nurse. I I breathed all over it, but then I I put it in the microwave, but. I wore this in any because of the pollution uh, but you know it was also because of the virus they were starting wearing masks over there because of the virus I I just wasn't paying very much attention <laughs> to it so I got home and, and surprise um, so I've got uh, this mask some people like patterned masks you know I've just never really felt like my face would look better in a print you know plaid today um, maybe geometrical tomorrow but uh, but I think there, there's going to be a lot of that, and I think masks are going to be part of our lives going forward. Because how do we, how do we come back from this? How do you ever stand on a subway train with someone breathing uh, in your face and feel comfortable again? I, I don't think we do. So I think people are going to be wearing masks and gloves uh, for, at least for the rest of uh, of my life. So uh, this is, you know, it's, it's a, you got to find a way to make it your own because it's not going anywhere. So I looked around my apartment to see what else I could come up with, uh, you know, sort of in the Eddie Bilderlin to in the woods sort of way, working with what I had um, in terms of a new mask. And I've got something that I think works pretty good. There. It's, you know, it makes me feel, you know, adorable. I, uh, it's a Yogi Bear. This one was my sister's, but uh i wanted it it's and uh my father kept saying you know what what do you want i said i want yogi bear so then they got me a small yogi bear to, i'm you know seven so all to, what that is to me is oh look i got an inferior yogi bear so i craved this yogi bear for my entire life and dragged that stuffed animal around uh, because my sister finally got tired of it and I finally got it. And then, you know, New York City apartment, uh, I, uh, I, I ripped off the face and threw the body out. So, you know, I just got, yeah, right here, just me. Um, and I think that this is a solution because it also keeps the rest of the world out. And I'm beginning to forget there is a rest of the world. So, this seems fine. There could be someone standing quite literally a yard away staring at me. I wouldn't know. And I'm beginning to kind of like this whole idea of my head in the sand. I don't know how much more information I, you know, really honestly, uh, you know, uh, need. It's, uh, it's been enough. So, uh, yeah, I can't imagine being in the same room with another human being ever again on purpose. So. You know, I mean, that's just me. I, I don't know how you are, but me, no. No, 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 no. I can't. Uh, two words. Two words. You know, cover your ears if you're squeamish, because two words. Touching strangers. <clears throat> Could you even imagine doing that now? Um, I, I, I keep, I'm afraid that there's someone here watching me. I wonder, I've got to look. Oh, thank God. Nope, <laughs> by myself, I really thought for a minute that there was someone here uh, watching me. But anyway, this is just another prototype of something that I think would work to give you a false sense of security and a false sense of, uh, of you know, privacy and, you know, maybe just a little whimsy. I think it's a great idea. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to head back.